So we got a couple of these uh, Electro & Co uh, ETM V2 Minis. They were one of the first two that were sold. Uh, this is probably the first sunny day we've been able to go out on them. We've had them over the winter time, just hadn't been able to ride because of nasty cold and rain. So uh, yeah, uh, hope you enjoy. Thing's pretty cool. I've never ran with uh, with my phone on it here. I just put that GoPro mount on it to hold it. So, this is a lake in our neighborhood. Yeah. Let's go up here and go to the right. Pretty neat, huh? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, that's super scary. <laughs> Just keep going. Oh, okay. There you go. Good job. I went through here a minute ago, it's kind of soupy. I'm trying not to tear the grass up. I've had them Karens out here screaming, Need more ride dirt bikes, oh my god. We too good for them redneck dirt bikes. And the Karen's gotta keep them Karen's calm cause they be crying, you know, anybody has some fun. Them tracks ain't ours, that's somebody else's. Hello. Gotta have them Karen's keep them crying. Alright buddy, you ready? Alright, let's go. Get it. Oh yeah. What do you think? want to uh, go to the new neighborhood back there? Okay. Or you want to go home? Okay. Okay.
over there. Yeah, there is. back here I'm sure it'll be full of homes before we know it Feels fast on a little bike. 28. 30. 31. It feels faster than 31. Do like 40, right? Shouldn't it be 40? Shouldn't it be 40 something? That's what it says. I don't know. So we rode a good bit. It still has 68%, almost 70% battery life. Oh, yours is probably more. Let's see here. I'll connect to yours. It's on, right? Leave it, leave it on, and then, uh, Yep, let's see, Aiden's bike. Um, uh, you have 80% left. Pretty cool. All right, so I was putting together the video, kind of a breakdown and, and build video, a little short ride video of the, the Electro and Co ETM V2s. And I just, I don't think I gave them a fair shake. I felt kind of negative on the video, so I just wanted to uh, finish this up and kind of just give you a better view of the bikes, give you kind of a, a short description. Um, these are good bikes. They, they are. Uh, could you spend a little more and get something a lot better? Yeah, you could. Uh, at the time, I think I paid about $2,500 for them each. Now I just looked at the website. Uh, there are three thousand. If you're gonna do it, get the 72 volt. Spend the extra money, get the 72 volt. Especially if you're if you're a dad with some riding experience and uh, you you want a little bit more. Um, but all in all, the the bikes are really good. I mean, they're they're, they're good. They're not. Uh, you know they're not Honda or Husqvarna or Beta quality, and I think that's just what I'm used to. And uh, you know that's that's okay for what they are. I mean they're not really uh, marketed towards adults, 165 pound dads that have dirt bike experience and can ride dirt bikes. Uh, they're kids bikes. So what do you get with a kids bike? I mean my son is. I don't know, 60 pounds, and they uh, it pulls him around easily, and I have it turned way down. So uh, they're really good bikes for the most part. If you want more, of course, with anything, you're gonna have to pay more. Now in the video, I did make the comment about speed. I thought, uh, you know, after seeing them do about 32 miles an hour, I really thought they could do more. I just checked their uh, max speed for the 60 volt version are uh, 35 miles an hour so I mean you put a 60 pound 70 pound kid yeah it'll do 35 I'm sure but I'm 167 you know 167 pounds so it moves pretty well you know on dirt and definitely 
moves really well on concrete. You know, these are great neighborhood bikes. I picked up a couple razors uh, last early last year. They've got the 20 volt, uh, not 20, standard volt, not sure what they are, but the, I did do the, the 20 amp hour battery and we get a ton of life out of them. Uh, the kids love them, that they just ride them all over the sidewalks and neighborhood and you know, I wanted a little bit more. I sold a pretty sweet pit bike that I never rode, but I just love working on it. Uh, these bikes, you don't really have to work on them. I mean, you build it, keep the battery charged and, and let her eat. Uh, I do have one, one major gripe and I've got to say it. So they made the, um, they made the front brake cable too short to add tall bars. So hopefully that's something that they'll offer, maybe a longer, uh, brake cable, but you know, other than that, I mean, for us, us dads and taller guys, it, it would be nice to, uh, to to be able to throw some tall bars because it, it kind of they kind of have a little stink bug action where you know the old KTM's the the back end uh, stuck up a little bit higher. Suspension for for my weight has been has been good. You know, it's haven't really felt it seriously bottom out. Um, you saw in the video it kind of wobbles I need to check uh, check the rims to make sure they're true I haven't done that maybe they've loosened up and and you know aren't perfectly round which I mean they're Chinese bikes and honestly if you have a little bit of know-how and, and, and can turn a wrench and, and you know aren't afraid to upgrade the other option would be the Mini Moto bike, which is this exact bike. I mean, it's the same thing. I think for about eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars is what the bike itself runs. Not sure the voltage, but you could do the Electro and Co. 72 volt upgrade kit for it, and it would be way faster than these and cheaper. So, uh, I, I, yeah. I didn't think of that when, when buying these. Whatever, doesn't matter. It's done now. Uh, I do love the, 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 the app, as you saw in the video. They connect really easily. I had a little issue in the beginning, but that was fixed with the you know, connector. Um, uh, some pins weren't, uh, uh, weren't making contact. I was able to fix that. You know, little things like that, maybe damage in shipping or you know, whatever production um but yeah the the app is is fantastic you can control everything and all right so I'll, i'm gonna turn the bikes on pretty simple and then instantly uh they came up on the screen so i've got daddy's and aiden's bike uh let's pull up aiden's bike Hopefully this zooms properly. Um, what is that firmware update available? They're pretty good at that too. So uh, you've got the watts, the battery, and the speed. Um, let's see where are the settings up here. So here's where you go through the settings. Uh, a lot of this stuff, all this comes right out of the box, programmed, ready to go. Um, Let's see the type of throttle. So here's the power, torque, and throttle aggression, speed, regen. I haven't really messed with the regen. I just turn it all the way down um, to get maybe as much free will as possible. I mean, so these are his settings, and it's plenty for him. I mean, yeah, and his battery lasts forever. So let's see here if I can just exit, maybe. Um, I'm not going to waste my time trying to go. Let's uh, connect to mine. Yep, firmware available. Go to settings. I want to show you this, my settings. So that's max power. Um, if you were to go up, you get a warning. So I just set, yep, set to whatever the max power should be. Torque. Huh. 
I didn't have the torque all the way up. Okay, <laughs> 55 miles per hour, I don't know. I just put it to max. So it's all the max here, speed, no regen, uh, wheel diameter, controller name. You could change the direction to old man, that'd be freaking scary. Um, yeah, troubleshooting. So anyway, yeah, like I said, the app works. I mean, works a treat. So since I changed it, uh, changed my setting, let's hit save. The motor's not spinning. Nope, sitting still. And it saved. Yeah, it's really cool. So all in all, I'm happy with the bikes. Uh, I think you would be too, especially if uh, you're getting them for a couple, uh, you know, couple kids or, or one kid and a dad, you know. Um, but if you're if you're over that 200 pound mark, get the 72 volt. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, until the next one. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.